never be let off its way. I have made this quote, and you can quote it anywhere, anytime. That if you really want to achieve the United Nations Sustainable Development Goal, goal three, and also achieve universal health coverage, then the sure way is the integration of traditional medicine into the main healthcare stream. The world and Ghana at large for the past decades have embraced traditional medicine practice to complement the orthodox or biomedical service for healthcare delivery. Years before the introduction of the allopathic medicine practice in Ghana, the population solely depended on traditional healers, fake healers, traditional birth attendants, the wansans or the circumcisers for their health care needs. Even in this era of allopathic ascendancy, so traditional and alternative medicine practice still play a huge role in providing the health needs of patients in this country. Native doctors used leaves, herbs, I mean stem bags, roots, flowers, seed, and all that to make sure that they treat and also to prevent the diseases for the management of communicable and non-communicable diseases. The use of herbal medicine in the development of production of orthodox medicine is enormous. Since the Alma Mater Declaration of 1978, traditional medicine has seen significant growth globally. Ghana has since worked towards the singular goal of the recognition and integration of traditional medicine practice into the main healthcare stream, particularly at the primary health level. During the Alma Mater Declaration, that is when traditional medicine practitioners were cited as part of the healthcare delivery team. So you are so important. I want you to clap for yourselves. <laughs> yes, we are here to celebrate 20 years. 20 years old, and at the same time, 20 years young. It means that you have done a lot, a lot has been achieved, and there are still more to be achieved. 